welcome to Trees' World. This morning I'm up early because I'm going to make my way into Liverpool again. <laughs> it's Wednesday today. Um, because I want to go and see the Terracotta Army. Um, they're on tour from China. Um, and when I was walking up Snowdon, I met a group of people from Liverpool and I said, oh, I haven't been to Liverpool for a long time. And they said, you must come. You must come and see um, Liverpool. So much going on there. And um, the Terracotta Army are on tour and they're in Liverpool until October. So here I am. It's nothing to do with the history of England in 100 places. It literally is my kind of... Um, uh, desire to go and see that army just in case or part of the army it's not the whole army traveling it's just a small part of it just in case I never get to go to China <laughs> so I'm sat here I've made a cup of tea there we go can't do anything without a cup of tea and I was thinking that one of the disadvantages of having a camper compared to having a caravan or a tent is that when I want to go somewhere um, I have to pack up the van every time I have got it down to um, a fine art now, I think, but it is still a, like um, um, a negative with regard to having a camper. Um, you know, like when you've got a caravan, you've got everything set up and you just jump in your car. Uh, with this, I'll just show you. I'll just pan round. <laughs> it looks a bit muddly at the moment. Um, I've got to oh, hold on, pack it all up. See, everything's on the chairs and stuff. Um, so... I've got, st I know where it all goes, so it won't take me long now. And also, I did bring my bike. As you see, I haven't got Millie. Um, I brought my bike instead. Um, and I've got to put that back in the van as well. Sat here, I'm just going to do my makeup, actually. Um, and have some breakfast. Um, the reason why I didn't bring Millie, everybody, and she is in kennels. Oh, I know. I did feel bad, but there's no way I could take Millie into Liverpool to um, see the Beatles' houses and see the Terracotta Army. It was just no way. And it was something I really wanted to do. So sometimes uh, I decided that I, I have to get her used to kennels just to give me that little bit more freedom because she is quite restricting, really. Um, and also, I'm, I've got 10 days in this small space and I really couldn't cope with Millie <laughs> for 10 whole days um, in, this, in this small space. Um, tied to a leash so when I sit outside on a lounger she's wrapping herself round everything um, and also she can't jump up on the seats very easily so I need the port in here so she can go up onto the port up onto the seat so and also the hair the, her hair drives me mad she really molts badly so I really did just need 10 days away from Millie so um, I did feel really bad but it is a lovely kennels I found and um, and I'm sure she'll be fine. And I'll, I will pick her up on my way back home. Yes, that's it at the moment. I need to put some makeup on. Oh, I got my makeup bag here. <laughs> got my mirror. There we go. My little dressing table set up. So I'm going to put some makeup on and then get myself sorted and en route to Hooton train station again. Okay, I'm all packed up. That's how I get my bike in. Um, it's not going to go anywhere um, because it's supported by my clothes boxes there. They're just wedged up against them. It's all about when you're packing a camper, um, making sure things can't move when you're driving along. They're not sliding about. <laughs> um, next thing I've got to do is take you around. It's, as you can see, it's sunny. I'm so pleased it's sunny. Um, I've got to oh, um, unhook the electric. Really mustn't forget to do that as you pull away. <laughs> and um, obviously, um, then I have to, um, where is it? I'm trying to um, turn my gas off before I, um, you know, start rolling. <laughs> um, so there we go. I'm ready to go to Hooton train station. Just thought I'd show you that little bit of info. <laughs> I, do you know, I always look at the wrong place on this camera, don't I? I look over there. I should be looking here. <laughs> okay, so next clip will be in Liverpool, I think, because I'm aware of my battery as well on this phone. But I'm so pleased it's sun shining. Yay! One of the things <clears throat> I always have to check is that all the buttons, see the little buttons on the drawers, are all pushed in. Because it's really annoying when I get going and suddenly a drawer comes flying out because the buttons are not pushed in. <laughs> That's just a little bit more info um, on the things you have to check before you pull away. 
See, um, I can see the advantages of a caravan. You know, I wouldn't have to be doing all this, I'd just jump in the car. But um, I think once you get into your routine of what you do when you pack away, just allow half an hour, I guess, um, to do it all. Or maybe a little bit more than that, three quarters of an hour. I don't know, depends on you. It looks like I'm gonna have a bad hair day. Look, it looks as if I've brushed it, and I have. Anyway, let's get going. I'm wittering. Okay, there's the World Museum behind me. Huge, actually. Really impressive building, amazing. And I'm going to see China's first um, emperor and his terracotta army. Um, not all the army. Um, I think there's a, a percentage of it is on tour. So it's here in Liverpool until October, I think. Yes, I think it's the oh, bus. 28th of October? Yes. It's here in Liverpool until the 28th of October. Just pleased I got here. <laughs> and I'm really excited. I've seen the terracotta warriors. I actually bought a couple of these to put on the fireplace. <laughs> um, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> um, and yes, I'm really pleased I did it. If you get a chance to do it, go do it. Um, terracotta warriors at the World Museum in Liverpool. Okay, everybody, I'm going to say bye bye for now. Um, until my next vlog. <laughs> bye, Trees' World. <laughs>